Hey everybody, Fifth Horseman here, playing more Kerbal Space Program. It is day five, I guess. It's the evening of day five, although it is morning. Um, those of you who are uh, a little more observant will notice there's a building over here that we don't normally have, and there's a road over here that we don't normally have. Well, I have installed a new mod. Well, new for me. It's called Kerbal Constructs, and there's two mods, actually, that are involved in it. Um, Kerbinside is the other one. Um, Kerbinside allows you to put uh, bases elsewhere on Kerbin. And here they all are. <laughs> How crazy is that? Um, that's what Kerbal Constructs does. Kerbal, Kerbin Side actually puts all these bases here, and you can unlock them. If, uh, if you click on this thing here... When you, when you select one of these places, it shows you a little image of it, and it allows you to open it, and it allows you to do that by spending funds. This gives me another goal, and that goal is to unlock every base on Kerbin, um, which is going to be fun. Also, I installed another mod that you're going to see a little bit later that I think is one of the best mods uh, specifically for 0.25 that has ever come out. I also, uh, while I wasn't recording, I took a contract and I completed it, and it was crazy. I didn't really notice it. I wouldn't have done it if I if I had noticed how much it gave me. It gave me 40 science for testing something on the launch pad, which was crazy. I mean, I just hit the space bar and I got 40 science. So I have 110 now, which means I can unlock a couple other things. Uh, in particular, I can actually unlock the landing gear. And... That means that, that I can skip the plane I was going to do, but I'm going to show it to you anyway, just because it's fun. And uh, I can also purchase things like radial decouplers, which are going to be awesome. And uh, I can even do advanced flight control, which I don't need right now. I'm actually good with that. But I'm not going to spend the science yet until we do this contract. And this contract is specifically, I'm going to perform a visual survey of Kerbin. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And I'm also going to test a TR 2V stack decoupler in flight over Kerbin. And I'm going to do these in the same contract. While we're flying to our visual survey here, where we have to be above t about 20,000 meters, I am going to, on the way there, I am going to pass through this basically 10 to 15 uh, kilometers. And I'll be probably going this speed. And then I can just hit the space bar and get a ton of money for that. So, stack decoupler is going on my plane. Here it is. He is on his side right now. Actually, he is, well, not on his side. Now he's on his tail. This is how he's going to take off. Um, he's going to take off. He's going to eventually test this thing. And notice I've put it upside down, so after I test it, it'll stay on the plane and I can uh, I can get, uh, land it for, for a little bit of recovery cost, which is nice. Um, this plane takes off straight up. This is how I get around the not having landing gear. So we're going to go ahead and uh, launch this guy now. Oh, look at that extra stuff over there. We've got, we've got a city over here. We've got uh, hangars. We've got a little bunch of buildings over here. There's a tower up there. Oh, there's all these different things we can explore. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the space bar and get our, get our plane spooling up. Let's also turn on SAS. That's very important. Because this guy wants to go backwards. There we go. It is Jeb flying it, which is important. Also going to turn on the nav HUD. We all like the nav HUD. Okay, our goal here is to get uh, over 10 kilometers and over 250 meters per second, between 250 and 550. We also, if we go into map mode here, we want to go here. So I'm going to activate navigation on this. This is the new thing in in point nine zero, you, you activate navigation and it puts the uh, where you want to go on the nav ball, which is pretty sweet. However, it doesn't put it on the screen, which I find annoying. So I installed a mod, and we're going to see that mod in a couple minutes <laughs> as we fly. And I just actually paused the game for a second to check the forums to, to see what the name of the mod is, and it's called In-Flight Waypoints. And he has actually installed an update to it right now. <laughs> um, sadly, I don't have that update, but if I did, you would see something right here, and you'll see it in in the near future here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fly up here and uh, get my get my test here at 10,000 meters. We're almost there. Whoa! Don't want to go up too high. Yeah, our speed is nowhere near too fast. 
So there we go. Everything's green. Come on. There we go. We have tested the stack decoupler. Now we just have to get to, there it is. This is what this mod does. It puts a marker on your nav ball to tell you where to go. And I think that is awesome. So all we got to do is get up here and take a crew report. I'm actually tilting up so I go up higher faster because I want my, uh, I want my trajectory to be above this thing. This poor little plane isn't really designed to fly this high. Actually, it's not designed to do anything. <laughs> but we want to be above 19.5, or 19.6 actually, when we, when we reach this thing. 19.6, now we just have to get to this thing, and I need to be ready to take a crew report right here. As soon as on the nav ball it starts flashing. Come on, little plane. Don't fall below 19.6. Oh, come on. I'm below 19.6. <laughs> and now I'm at Scott's memory. and But I'm going, I'm down below it. If we're any, if we're lucky at all, we will arrest our downward motion. Yeah, now we're finally going up, but then we're gonna we're gonna be leaving the area. If I get to 19.6, I'm gonna take a crew report and see if it counts. You are leaving Scott's memory. Of course I am. Okay, so now I need to turn around as well. Not a very good pilot. I don't, he, don't know if he noticed. Whoa, I'm also gonna stall, there we go. Didn't stall, no stalling. We're basically flying backwards right now, which is why my plane is controlling so poorly. My goal here is to be not moving down when we get back into Scott's memory. Okay, we're below 19.6, but we're, 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 we've arrested our downward acceleration, which is important. So when we get back to Scott's memory, we should be able to get back up above it. I'm entering Scott's memory, and now I'm like 20 meters lo too low. Come on, come on, come on. And crew report. And we got it. Okay, sweet. Keep this data. Let's get home. <laughs> Okay, I realized uh, as I'm flying that my, my ship is getting bottom heavy, um, and I don't have uh, resource transfer <laughs> available as an option. So I actually disabled uh, this fuel tank so that it will um, it'll only drain from the back one. So while it's not fixing the problem, it's not making the problem any worse, and it's slowly getting better. Okay, we are coming up on Kerbal Space Center. This is really cool. I love all the extra buildings. And turn off the HUD so we can get a little bit of enjoyment out of this. I need to plant flags near the runway so I can target them. But we're not exactly uh, coming in for your normal landing. <laughs> I'm going to turn the HUD back on just for a minute while we uh, get everything lined up here. Cut the engines. There's no finesse involved in this. This is all about... <laughs> landing and I balance this thing so that it can land and not take any damage look at that EVA report hop on out you deserve it all we spent was some fuel and we earned 200 science that is a ton okay now I don't want to upgrade this building 
Okay, we need landing gear, period. End of story. We have 100 left. We could research both of these. I would really like the radial decoupler. I think I'm just going to research it. What does that get us up here? This would be really nice. Struts, uh, I mean, let's face it. Struts are probably the most important thing in the game. <laughs> uh, the thermometer would be nice before I launch my next satellite, but today we're not doing satellites. We are doing, um, we are doing another contract, and I think I'm going to research struts. We have 47. In theory, I could research these better things, separatrons and this other engine, but really when it comes down to it, oh, here's, here's the uh, carbonite stuff which I haven't even looked at. I don't even know how it works. But it's going to be part of my bases, <laughs> so I'd better figure it out. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going, to, I'm going to hold on to my 47 science. I also now have enough if I wanted to. Oh, no, I don't have enough for that. I have enough to upgrade something. I don't remember what it is. Is it this building? I honestly don't know what, what it is. Um, but I'm not going to do that yet. What we are going to do is we are going to launch another plane. Okay, and the contract I'm going to take is this one here, which has a huge payout. And if you look at the map here, here's where we're going. And we could unlock this base for 120,000 or dull spot. <laughs> uh, we should actually make sure, let's see, show runways. There we go. These are closed bases with runways. So the closest one is Wordbury's Claim which costs 5,500 to unlock. So what we're going to do is we're going to unlock this base so we can launch our plane from there and we don't have to fly this whole distance. That is definitely the closest one, yeah. So we are going to unlock it. Then we're going to take this plane, <laughs> which I don't know if you can tell by looking. I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to launching planes. Um, this plane probably has at least one more fuel tank than it needs, but I don't care. We're doing it anyway. Uh, we are also attaching a hydraulic manifold, and we're going to attach it, and we're going to do the trick with this. And uh, I, I had a talk with um, Pausetron, I think it was, about this, and he was he thought that, uh, and, and this was true back in the past, he thought that... If you <laughs> why not? Okay, let's save this. He thought that if you if you left debris on the on the thing and, and then recovered it later, you wouldn't get the money back. And while it it doesn't tell you you get the money back, you do actually get the money back. So let's go ahead and we're gonna say here we want uh, runways. Werbery's claim. Right? That's where we that's where we said we wanted to launch from. Yes, no preview image available. It is open, so let's set that as our launch site and let's make sure Jeb is flying. And let's go. Craft is too large. Oh no. Sixteen and the max is fifteen, and the height is low enough. Yikes. Okay, well, we need to then uh shorten this ship. We need to be under 15, so you know what? I think we need to also remove... Oh, that's the worst one to remove. Let's remove this one. Obviously, we'll need to fiddle with the things. 16.3. Really? We're still 16.3? We just took... Oh, it's the wingspan is 16.3. Well, that's no good. I guess we can do something like this. <laughs> a little bit stubbier, but I think it'll work. Uh, let's let's make sure his center of lift is still reasonable. Uh, and we lost our we lost our landing gear. I don't normally show show me building things, and that's because I'm bad at it. But I think this guy needs to be renamed to Stubby Plane. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and put this so that when that shoots off, those things should keep it safe. Uh, let's call this one Stubby Tester. Or, yes, let's just call him Stubby. Uh, this vessel contains experimental parts. Wing connector type C. Oh, I never, 
I, I, I designed my ships in, in uh, let's see, wing connector type C. I, I designed my ships in uh, sandbox sometimes and then, then just unlock the parts later. That's why those things happen. So now let's save him and let's launch it. And we crashed the desktop. Okay, we are here. Um, Kerbin side and Kerbal constructs are, are, I believe, in alpha. And I've had a couple crash to desktops, which is fun. It's I, It's been about a half hour <laughs> since I last talked to you. Um, but we're going to go ahead and test this thing now. There we go. We got our contract here, 27. Not bad. Uh, it's now in the way, of course. So... Let's actually check out. Yeah, we wanna we wanna basically go west, and it looks like it's sunrise right now. So we should probably wait a while. Now it's now it's early later in the day. So let's go ahead and turn the brakes off. We are going to turn our throttle all the way down, then just bring it up just a tiny bit, and then ideally here, we are not gonna get around this thing, are we? Maybe we'll drive over it. Sweet, we drove over it. Ha ha ha. Screw you. Correct designing of planes. And I should probably... You know what? We're gonna... Oh, that's crazy. Crazy pattern there on the ground. Moving backwards. Crazy pattern on the ground. Moving backwards. And this is, this is going terribly. <laughs> uh, the plane is okay it's not accelerating anymore at least I think we're going to recover this plane and then we're going to launch a new one <laughs> probably with requisite crashes to desktop okay let's just get rid of this we don't want it let's go ahead and save this guy again and selected launch site is Werbery's claim so if I launch and we crash to desktop I'm going to be mad Okay, no crashes to desktop. That makes me happy. Okay, now let's go ahead and stage this engine. Ideally, we will be able to take off before we hit that ramp at the end of the runway and kill ourselves. I said, hopefully, we'll be able to take off before... There we go. <laughs> and we want to immediately turn to the right because we want to go west. This is really cool looking. I'm enjoying this area. And the game crashed. Wonderful. Okay, it has been a very interesting roughly 24 hours since I recorded last. Um, the crashing problems I had was not because this was in alpha, it's because I was running out of memory, which is a problem I've never had before in spite of using a lot of mods. Um, this mod has a lot of textures though, so that's just what you get. <laughs> along with, uh, along with um, a lot of places you get a lot of new textures. Uh, so I cut out some of the non-flight related places out of here. All the all the little doodads on the coastlines and, and things like that that, you, that you're never going to launch a rocket from or an airplane. Um, I took those out and just put the runways, launch pads, and stuff like that in. And I also noticed that dull spot was actually closer to what I wanted. Uh, so I purchased it for 9,500 funds. I also fiddled with Stubby a little bit, gave him some extra air intakes, took away one of his fuel tanks, because these are all short-range guys now anyway, um, and uh, this is what we're going to be launching. Uh, this down that back here is just to keep the engine from smacking into the ground. Um, you can't see it here, but I have a reaction wheel down here. That's uh, That's how this guy is actually controlling it. Um, I was having major problems with the ailerons, and I just took them off. I, I got... I got sick of it. I, I don't generally need them, so that's just the way it's going to work. Okay, nice looking, uh, nice looking little runway here. It's got to drive up to it. We, so we drove the plane up here. There is a tree in the runway. Um, they said uh, that you should disable uh, texture or not textures, but uh, terrain scatter for this mod. Otherwise, you'll have problems like that. Um, I don't consider that a problem. I consider that uh, a little bit of whimsy there. There, there, there is actually trees growing up through the through the thing. They haven't maintained this very well. <laughs> but uh, we're going to use the new, new, new version of um, the navigation mod here. 
And if we look over here, um, yeah, there it is. So we're going to have to do a pretty steep turn once we, uh, once we get around. And then we're going to head to Nerd's, Nerd's Obsession, which is going to be our first one. And we want to approach it from the north. We're actually going to head this way, and then we're going to take a right here once, once uh, it's due south of us. That way we can just hit these three without having to do a major turn here. We're just going to go one, two, three, and then land here, and then we'll, we're going to be done. I was going to upgrade whoops, the astronaut complex here. So we can plant flags and go EVA off-world. It's, it's a cheap upgrade, and it's necessary. And he's going to plant a flag. This is so I can come back. Now we are finally ready. Let's go ahead and set this as our navigation point. Make sure it's there. That's the, that's the new thing in this mod, by the way, is it shows up. If you, if you have targeted a navigation point, it always shows up. Oh, this will be a fun landing because you'll have to come in around that. Anyway, it, it always shows up. Once you get close enough, they, they, they automatically show up. But uh, they don't... Um... They don't show up this far away until you have... Uh... Okay, so we are going to go... Whoa, we're going to not crash. They, they, they only show up about 25 kilometers away or so. Uh, unless you set them as a nav point, at which case they will... Uh, they will show up forever. Anyway, so this is going to be a long trip. I expect it to be very boring. We are flying away from the sun. We are leaving dull spot away. Actually, I guess we could target it right now so that we can find it on the way back because we can't target any of these nav points. So I'll be back when we are getting close to one. Um, it, just so, so you see, I kind of, I didn't really spam the air intakes, but I did put enough so that I can comfortably fly over 20 kilometers up. We are we are a couple hundred kilometers from here, so obviously these show up closer than or further than 25 kilometers. Um, but uh, we're I'm not going to say we're we're having trouble keeping it over 19. I was expecting this to be a lot easier though. Um, but I think we'll be okay. We're, we're far enough away that I think I can still lift it up and, and keep it going here. But we are still going down, which is annoying. Okay, now this is our... our we've arrested our downward motion. Once these two things get lined up, though, I'm, gonna, I'm going to turn so that we just fly through this one into that one. I think that's the smart way to go. And I can probably start the turn almost now. We're 100 kilometers away. There's Minmus on the horizon over there. We're, we'll be going there someday. <laughs> this isn't just airplanes and, uh, and low Kerbal orbit satellites, that's for sure. But I'm basically, I'm turning myself er, a little bit early so we don't miss this, and I probably waited too long. But I'm also trying to keep my, my nose above the horizon here or my trajectory here over the horizon. You can see this on the nav ball, but the nav ball isn't really designed for this kind of thing. Also, I just remembered we have improved chase cam, which I just hit tab for, and it didn't tell me it was enabled. So I have a feeling it's uh, something's wrong with that. There's it, there it is on the nav ball. Yeah, I definitely am missing my turn here, but ideally we will still... Yeah, I'm not gonna do any VA report. Don't... Don't even think about it. We are still getting close to it. I have to be... This is Nerd's Obsession. I have to be... Uh... 19.2. I have to be over 19.2. And I think about 25 kilometers away from it, or so. I definitely, uh, turned... Or didn't turn sharply enough. But now that I've leveled off and everything, and I'm and I'm paying attention to my vertical uh, my vertical velocity here, this thing actually flies pretty well. Just gotta make sure I don't let it go back down. And any second now, we are gonna get this contract here. And we should be able to just fly through both of these. Wow, we're 25 kilometers away. How close do I have to be? Uh, by the way, I see it up here. That That's another part of this mod. <laughs> I 
I don't want to. I'm ready to do... Okay, crew report. Yay! And I'm just going to reset the experiment because I don't care about it. Now I'm going to go back to map mode and set this as my target. And we are 94 kilometers away. This is... Uh, Rocco Ma uh, this is, what is this? Werbin's Awe. 19-1 over Werbin's Awe. So I, I definitely want to keep going upright. I'm going to be ready with my crew report. Okay, we're basically not going down. Oh, we're entering where Urban's off. Sweet, do a crew report here. Toss that aside. We got another nav point to do. Let's go ahead and activate navigation on this. Now, this is going to be another fun to turn one. Oops, I don't think I activated navigation on it. There we go. 67 kilometers away. I have to be uh, above 18.9. So, basically, these are all about the same height here. Turning my way around, trying to keep my vertical velocity or my vertical speed positive, if at all possible, <laughs> while still getting this turn. Okay, we, we're, we're back to vertical, which is nice. Or we're back to positive vertical, I should say, which is nice. But really, I don't, it doesn't have to be positive, it just, I don't want it to be negative. Because the, the more negative it gets, the harder it is to fix later. And we are getting close, so I'm going to turn on my crew report option here. 18.9 is what I have to stay over. Come on. Yeah, we're... Okay, we're bringing our, bringing our vertical velocity back up, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Uh, we are 24 kilometers away, so obviously it's variable how far away you have to be. But any second now, I should... Where's my crew report button? There it is. We are there. Take our crew report. Keep it. Okay, and we have one more thing to do, and this is a landing. So, now we can, we can crank it down and go this way. Do a big turn here, and then we're just going to come down and land. I really like these aerial contracts. They're they're so unique. Um, because because Kerbin is so beautiful. It's got got the coastlines. It's got little mountains and hills and valleys and stuff. And there's there's no reason to go to them in in the stock game. <laughs> in the old stock game in point two five. Uh, but now with fine print, it's it's just like there's there's reasons to go all these places. Hey, a crew report I actually need. Oh, I it went away. I forgot that I wanted to turn off. Uh, fuel flow from the front fuel tank so that my uh, my ship wouldn't get too front heavy, or uh, sorry, back heavy, and it was starting to get too back heavy. Um, I still haven't un unlocked the ability to transfer fuel <laughs> around in a vessel, and obviously flying planes around, that's probably a good thing to do. We're getting close, though. We're 14 kilometers away. We are uh, bringing our landing gear down. we got a nice little valley here we're flying over with trees in it. The only, the only thing I, I'm sad about is that we are, uh, we're flying into the sun, so our shadow's going to be way behind us, but that's not a big deal. And I'm basically just going to, looks like there's a hill here, and then the spot that we want is kind of on top of it. So I'm just bringing myself down, and uh, we're just going to coast along here. Not too far off the ground. I'm really cutting the engines now, because we're only three kilometers away. Actually, just going to cut the engines completely. And the game just crashed again. Are you serious? Okay, we are coming back in. Um, I am well under three uh, gig of memory, or, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, three gig of memory used by the game, so we shouldn't be in any way, shape, or form in danger of crashing. Um, I've also quick saved. I had to redo the entire mission. Um, I did do drop a quick save before I reached the first waypoint, but I had to actually hit all those waypoints again, which I'm going to say was annoying. 
the whole the whole benefit of Kerbin side with uh, relation to the to the mods is being used up by the fact that I have to redo the missions over again. Um, I think I'm just going to make it a habit to quick save every time. But I don't know what else I could do. I could I could remove all the all the launch pads that don't have um, that o that don't o don't have runways. I should say. But I don't want to do that. I, I want to use these things. I can also try 64-bit, but I've had many problems with 64-bit in the past. I'm going to hit a quick save right here. I'm also going to cut the engines completely. Coast again over the treetops here. Okay, we're in nerd's range. We are going to hit this tree. Sorry, Jeb. We are also, my brakes are on, as long as we don't leave nerd range, which I don't think we're going to, we are good. And we have completed a multi-contract, which is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, if we had brought a stack decoupler, we could test it right now. <laughs> Go ahead and hop back in your plane. There is absolutely nothing else to do here. Um, we are going to set this as our target. We're going to hit F5 again because we've completed all these contracts. We're going to take the brakes off. We're going to crank up the engine here, and we are going back home. It would be nice to have a second flag, I'll tell you that much. And I think Jeb's last job here is going to be, once he once he lands, to hop out and put a flag at the end of the runway. Just so I can tell the, uh, the location, because I can already tell that I'm, I'm too far this way. The runway doesn't go directly north and south. My memory is at 3.6 gig. I don't know where that extra gig came from, <laughs> but uh, it's causing me to do a lot of quick saves here. I do not like uh, this chase cam here. Oh boy, I wonder if that did. Oh, no, still 3.6. Okay. Yeah, I don't like this chase cam. like any of the chase cams. Let's go auto. And it looks like I need to slow down a lot here. We're going to come in right over this thing here in a perfect world. Jeb is a master pilot here. He's going to cut the engines. Probably not a smart idea. <laughs> Coast right by the tower. Oh! <laughs> Jeb is a master pilot, but I am not. Um, you know what? I normally don't do this, but I'm going to hit F9 because I want to nail this landing. There we go. There we go. This is really hard with the keyboard. Would like a flight stick. Here we go. Things are looking good. Things are looking good. Gear, landing gears down. Coming in very hot. Oh, boy. Let's do another pass, shall we? This is hard. This is not going to work very well, I don't think. Ah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. <laughs> Everything's fine here, thanks. <laughs> Screw it, we'll just land on the ground here. Assuming we miss this part of the runway. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a skill shot I just don't have. Uh, we'll plant the flag next time. I'll probably do it off camera. Um, this was a very fun mission. I enjoyed doing it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, next time, I don't know what we're going to do next time, but it's going to be in space. Uh, I am Fifth Horseman, and I will. As always... Talk at you later.